In this video tutorial, I'm going to look at exercise one in tutorial seven, which asks, is there a relationship between time spent studying and grade achieved? The first thing to recognize is that both of these variables are ranked or ordinal variables. They're not numerical or quantitative variables, such as measurements or counts. So we need to use Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. The first step in calculating this is to give ranks to each of the observations in increasing order. And this is for both variables. I've started doing this here for time. I started with the smallest observation, the shortest time, given that a rank of one, gone to the next shortest times, these ones, and given those the next ranks, two, three, and four, then to the twos, they get ranks five, six, and seven, the threes get ranks eight, nine, and 10, and lastly, the fours, the longest times, get ranks 11 and 12. Now, the odd thing in this procedure is to give different ranks to amounts of time that were actually the same. In other words, these three ones here get ranks two, three, and four. To solve this dilemma, what we do is when we've got tied observations, we give the ranks the average value. So if we start here and write in the final ranks, the zero gets one. Then for the ones, the two, three, and four rank, the average of those is three. So these three values get three. Next, we've got the twos. So they've got ranks five, six, and seven. The average of those is six. Then we've got the threes. They have ranks eight, nine, and 10. The average of those is nine. So I'll write in nine next to the threes. Lastly, we've got the two fours. They have ranks 11 and 12. So we'll give those scores of 11.5. So now I've got final ranks for the time, and I need to do the same thing for the grades. Over here, I've worked the same procedure through for the grades, starting with the fails, which start with ranks one, two, and three, but get ranks two, the average, and continuing through to create ranks for all of the grades. Having done this, we are then ready to move on to the second and final part of this procedure, calculating out the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. That is in part two of this tutorial.